Morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is November 11th, 2023, about just after 6.30 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time here in Idaho County. Um, I saw this article. I'm just getting warmed up, starting my day, doing some work. Um, I saw this article that caught my attention on Fox News. Um, usually, I'm giving you Bible prophecy updates or Bible studies, um, you know, when I am available. But... This one is a little bit out of the normal why I would come on here and talk about, you know, a random article on Fox News, but this one got me to thinking a little bit. Um, so I wanted to share this with the group and I'm gonna leave this public. North Korea closing embassies around the world amid suspected financial crisis. North Korea has already ended diplomatic missions at embassies in Uganda, Spain, Angolia, Hong Kong, and more. North Korea continues shutting down many of its limited embassies around the world, furthering suspicions on ongoing financial crisis. The Hermit Kingdom is shutting down its embassy in Nepal, according to reports published Friday. This is at least the fifth country North Korea has uh, contentiously pulled out in recent months, obstinate, um, obstinately for diplomatic restructuring. We are conducting operations to withdraw and establish diplomatic missions in accordance with the changed global environment and national diplomatic policy, a spokesman for North Korea foreign ministry um, wrote earlier this month. According to translations from uh, Yonhap News Agency, <laughs> why do I think this is important? Well, in 2019 of November, um, remember I gave you the, the date of this video, November 11th, okay? Um, November of 2019, Kim Jong-un sent a message to then President Trump saying that he was going to receive a special Christmas gift. And that special Christmas gift ended up being the, the COVID coronavirus. That's when it was starting to break out over in uh, Wuhan. Was at the end of November 2019. I'll remember that like it was yesterday. Um, and I do remember his ominous little message to Trump as well. A lot of people don't talk about that today. Some people don't know about it. Um, but I remember, I remember that article. Kim Jong-un saying that Trump was going to receive a nice little Christmas present. And uh, we found out what that was. Okay, so this here is just something to keep your eyes and attentive on, okay? Um, North Korea doing things. So, you know, this hermit kingdom seems to know about when something's a, something could be going down. Um, and um, them closing their embassies around the world, some of them, I don't know if they're going to close them all, but tells you that, there's, that maybe they know something's about ready to happen. Maybe it's China um, getting ready to invade Taiwan. I don't know. It's very possible, ladies and gentlemen, because um, I can't say with any degree of certainty if that's what's going to happen. But, you know, when you think about um, all of the weapons that we have been given to Ukraine um, and money and now to Israel, which I support Israel 100 percent. Everybody that knows me knows that. Um I don't know what the state of our uh, military capabilities are at the moment, you know, on a global scale, that is. Um, would this be a time for China to move in on Taiwan? It's possible. Um, we had a major catastrophe in 2019, you know, and shut the whole world down. I don't want people in my group to get lulled into a sense of, um, you know, I want to say... Uh, not comfort, but I don't want I don't want your senses to be dull. Let's just put it like that. You know, in our Bible study groups, what we do is we pay attention to what's going on around the world. And that doesn't make us conspiracy theorists. That doesn't make us people who have rapture fever or anything like that. Jesus told us to watch. He told us to watch and also to pray and to be patient. The Bible tells us to be patient also for the latter rain to come in. Um... But we're commanded by our Lord to watch. 
And so if anybody has a problem with that, it's not with us, it's with God, okay? Because he's the one that told us to do that. Um, that's what I continue to do on, on my timeline. And um, so keep an eye out on this thing with North Korea, okay? I just think it's gonna be interesting, um, especially going into next year with uh, the election season. Trump is blowing away everybody else as far as um, his poll numbers go. And um, the Democrats' um, schemes to try to prevent him from running for president are not working right now, okay? So what's the next thing they might try to do? Mm -hmm. We need to be praying for him. And I know that that man is not perfect. And I understand, you know, there's Christians that have some issues with certain things about Trump. Um, look, I get it. I understand, okay? But <clears throat> at the same time, I understand we have um, these people on the other side of the aisle um, that are completely evil, sold out to evil, okay? And I have a big problem with that. Huge. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't like it that they're parading um, Hamas around our country as glorified mortars for Palestine. That's ridiculous. Um, we need to speak up, guys. Like, do you think that um, our voices don't mean anything? Why do we get censored if they don't mean anything? They do. It's up to you to speak up for righteousness, okay? And to stick up for Israel, by the way, as well. Um, that country over there is God's land. It's his holy land. If you love God, you're going to love Israel. We have to stick up for them. So um, this is a little update this morning. This article just caught my attention. Like I said, I wanted y'all to um, be thinking and looking at what I pointed out. Um, I don't know. I'm not telling anybody that I know, you know, exactly when certain things are going to go down with the deep state. But you have to keep an eye on it, okay? There's some suspicious things that happened before this invasion of um, Hamas into Israel. Why wasn't, why wasn't Emmanuel Macron, Pope Francis, and King Charles at the United Nations Summit in New York several weeks before that attack? Why were they absent? You know, they're all World Economic Forum leaders. Why were they absent? Okay. This hermit kingdom of North Korea, <clears throat> they seem to know when things go uh, are going to happen. At least that's what I have seen in history so far, up to up to this recent history, is they give these little telltale warnings. So keep an eye out, guys. Thank you very much for this um, staying with me here on this video, little update, and um, I'll talk with you all soon.